السلام علیکم سائٹ ڈائریکٹڈ نیوٹر جینسی مینلی فوکسڈ آن پی سی ایر ایس ٹی ایم یوزنگ ملٹیپل پرائیمز سائٹ ڈائریکٹڈ نیوٹر جینسی is a change that is in nucleic acid sequence and genetic material of an organism both are same things and this change is specific and intentional specific means at a particular site and intentional means by our own will it is also called as oligonucleotide directed mutagenesis Oligonucleotide is a short piece of DNA, usually 10 to 30 nucleotide longs. The question is why we need side directed mutagenesis or why we do STM? I will answer this question at the end of my video. There are two terms that is mutagenesis and mutation. People think they are same but there is a slight difference in between these two things. Mutation is a naturally occurring phenomena that is due to mistakes when DNA is being copied or it is due to environmental factors like UV and cigarette smoke. For example, sickle cell anemia is caused by mutations in gene that is proline and valine. Proline is changed by valine and mutagenesis is a lab procedure in which genes, proteins or strains of bacteria are, mo are changed or genetically modified organisms are created or made. Insertion of lactose in DNA or plasmid. Insertion of plas lactose is an intentional process and is site specific process history of site stm is charles weisman was the first scientist who used site directed mutagenesis in 1974 but it was not specific and michael smith was the scientist who invented in 1978 oligonucleotide based site directed mutagenesis and Caribou Mullis was the person who invented PCR and Michael Smith and Caribou Mullis both in obtained a Nobel Prize in Chemistry in October 1933. Side directed mutagenesis is of two types. There are many types of side directed mutagenesis, but here I will explain two types cassette mutagenesis and PCR site directed mutagenesis. PCR STM can be further divided into two categories PCR STM using single primer, PCR STM using multiple primers. Cassette mutagenesis In cassette mutagenesis, circular double stranded DNA molecule is involved. Here is the intentional change, intentional piece of DNA that we want to change. Here we will call it as a cassette and this is the site where we want to change this amino acid. What will happen is restriction endonuclease the enzymes will cut these, this piece of fragment of DNA and Cassette, this cassette that is intentional is will be added with the help of DNA ligase or inserted in the plasmid. PCR site directed mutagenesis using single primer. Sing PCR cycle involves three steps. First is denaturation, second is annealing and third is extension. Denaturation is the first subject, first uh, procedure that will have happen in PCR that is breakdown of hydrogen bonds between double strands. 
PCR STM using single primer will also involve double, circular double stranded DNA molecule just like plasmid for example plasmid denaturation will break hydrogen bonds between cell double cell circular double stranded DNA molecule and both parent strands will be separated next is the mutagenic primers here cross science shows the muta mutagenic mutagenic primers one is sense and the other one is antisense annealing is the process by which primers will be attached to the parent strands and then nucleotides will be added in the extension process dpn1 enzyme is used to break down or chop up the parent nucleotide dpn1 enzyme is specialized to break down methylated strand dna strands as newly synthesized strand is non methylated and parent strand is methylated so parent strand will be chopped up or break down by the dpn1 enzyme and our product will be two daughter strands only which will be binded together by using hydrogen bonds PCR STM using multiple primers in this process we will use three PCR cycles and four primers in two PCR cycles we will make two overlapping DNA fragments and in third PCR cycle we will overlap in sequence the third point is one of the two hybrid one of the two hybrid sequences obtained in the last stage of third PCR cycle can't proceed as DNA can replicate only in 5 prime to 3 prime direction and one of those two hybrids will be will not be able to extend in this direction I will show this later DNA sequence for STM now I am going to explain PCR STM using single sorry multiple primers here is my template strand I want to change this G with this T now I am going to begin the process of of PCR STM using multiple primers here is a first PCR cycle in which I will use internal primers this is the parent strand I am going to change in the first step of PCR cycle denaturation both parent strands will be separated as due to breakdown of hydrogen bonds in the second step is the annealing during annealing internal primers will be involved that will bind with the DNA template at the internal sites not at the edges here is the internal primers as I want to change this G with T and primer is the opposite sequence or complement to that of parent strand so I want to make change G with T then I will make primer that has T com that will be complement to that T strand or the final product that is G A A G T and the second primer is C T T C A the direction of my primer is opposite to that of the parent strand in both to the both parent strands next step is extension during extension enzymes will be involved and template strand will be made or extended in the second PCR cycle 
we will use external primers here is the product of first PCR cycle in the first step of PC, second PCR cycle denaturation will make four different strands now annealing process annealing process is the one in which and sorry primers that are in this cycle external primers that will bind at the edges of the dna moly, dna strand that is now the parent strand will attach to them as they are specific for the daughter strand only during extension pc enzymes will be involved and dna strand will be synthesized using primers in the third round of pca cycle we will use the product of second pca cycle and first step of third pca cycle will be denaturation during denaturation these four strands will be separated as shown then the second step is annealing here there is a difference as you can see this strand this piece and this piece in this strand both are complement to each other as I will name them one two three four sorry for the bad writing please first strand after denaturation there are equal chances or 50 50 percent chances that this one strand can bind to second strand or third strand as both are complement to the first strand in the same way there are 50 percent chances that this second strand can bind to first strand and third strand and same goes to third and fourth there are 50 50 percent chances that this third strand can bind to first strand and fourth strand same applies to fourth strand fourth can bind to third strand and even to second strand what will happen here is that overlapping regions will be binded by hydrogen bonds as shown in the annealing process first strand will bind with the third strand and second strand will bind with the fourth strand now if you want to know what will happen if first strand will again bind to the second strand so i will explain it during pcr we require three basic things one is enzyme other is template and next one is their direction that is 5 prime to 3 prime end overlapping of strands during annealing as I told you earlier in the if first strand will bind to second strand there is the availability of enzymes but there will be no template here so the extension or annealing will happen but there will be no extension same applies for the second for this case that I will designate it as A this there is an availability of enzyme there is template but there is no direction that is 5 prime to 3 prime in the 5 prime to 3 prime by direction there is no template so there will be no extension in this PCR cycle in this A portion but when we use an other that is RB process there is availability of enzyme there is availability of template and 
there is availability of 5 prime to 3 prime direction so what will happen here is in extension process enzymes will be involved and these strands are synthesized in this way and extension process will be completed it is our product that we designed to uh, that is our final product as i shown you shown you earlier you can rewind the video to check the affinity of this process now i hope you can understand the last point the last third point as i as i explained earlier now the question is why we do side directed mutagenesis or why we need side directed mutagenesis there are proteins in our body proteins are very significant for our normal metabolism here proteins can be classified as enzymes just like pepsin is an important enzyme that is in our stomach for the digestion of protein contents from our from our meal structural proteins as there is in cell membrane there are many structural proteins regulatory proteins just like muscles that contract uh, that regulate contraction and relaxation there is actin and myosin proteins transport proteins will be hemoglobin that transport oxygen carbon dioxide in blood toxins will be like shiga toxin diphtheria toxin chlorella toxin pseudomonas exotoxin these are all protein based toxins and next is storage protein storage protein is ferritin is an example of a storage protein that stores iron iron is a component of heme which is contained in the transport protein hemoglobin and in cytochromes next is there is an other classification of enzyme protein that is based on their function that is structural proteins enzymes hormones respiratory proteins transport proteins contract proteins that means muscle proteins storage proteins and toxins now as proteins perform this function as proteins perform many functions in our body so to check which amino acid is involved in protein structure we can use side directed mutagenesis yes the change will be at genomic level but as proteins are made from dna so we can use this procedure we will mutate a protein by SDM, change a per particular amino acid in it and ask how it will affect the function of the protein. This mutated protein will be purified biochemically or biophysically to check its activity and many tests will be involved there. It is the end of my video. Thanks for watching.